Welcome to Tiger Lily, our 42-foot Choily sailboat that we've sailed from Seattle to Mexico. This is Colby, I'm Mariah, and these are our two cats, Namiria and Took. We're out to explore the Sea of Cortez this year, and we really hope you'll follow along and enjoy our adventures. Welcome back to our kitchen. We are in Bahia Tortuga, and I'm gonna I'm making one of our recent discovery favorite dishes. Uh, I made chili rellenos like right before we left San Diego, I think. And I don't know why I've never made them before because they're super easy. Um, but <laughs> since I made them now, we're kind of obsessed, so I'm making them again. So we have two of, I, I think they're poblanos, I, on, or Sera, no, they're not serranos. Poblanos or pasilla, pasilla chilies. So yeah, I'm cleaning these out. I got some chicken that I'm going to season and we're going to bake them. Fill them with cheese and chicken. You know, I think we need more salt. I use the rest of it in that other thing that was up anchor and leave Bahia Tortuga we I feel like we didn't film that much here um, I don't know why probably because we really didn't do much here we went to town a couple times I think I filmed us walking around town a little bit but we really just hung out with friends and it's kind of awkward to pick up the camera and start filming when you're around people so um, yeah I didn't get much footage but Right now we are headed to Bahia Asuncion and yeah, see you on the way there.
so Mariah already said that we are leaving Bahia Tortuga and it's a it's a really nice day we have easy swell this is what more of what I imagined even if the waves got a little bit bigger but the same period would be perfect because it's just it's super calm and uh, we are making our way south to Asuncion but uh, as per well, as predicted the wind isn't that great um, but we just we need to move on right we just it was time to move on from Bahia Tortuga and uh, yeah so we're making our way to Asuncion and uh, we'll spend a night there maybe two nights we'll see I don't know if we're gonna go to shore or not um, I kind of wanted to fill two jerry cans with diesel because we're gonna use about 10 gallons getting there but we'll see to the radar I'll show you on weather mode. Oh, sorry a little close right there you can see the radar looks like it's supposed to once we get past right there the weather should uh, should be better we'll see we are safely anchored in uh Asuncion however you want to pronounce it probably butcher it um, and uh, I just set the hook. We anchor is down. Everything looks good. We're not pulling too much, surprisingly, on the on the bridle, um, or whatever you want to call that, to the snubber. But yeah, we made it. It's a little bit rolly. I still have to set up the uh, rocker stopper, or it's not that rolly, but to make Mariah more comfortable, I'll we'll set up the rocker stopper. And yeah, I text some friends on Pythia kind of when we were coming in here, um, when we got self service again. And uh, apparently this little storm or whatever it was, was not just localized to where we're at, it's up at Bahia Tortuga too. And apparently they're getting kind of, kind of tossed around up there. So it doesn't matter if we, I guess it wouldn't matter if we stayed or left. The only difference is if we stayed, we would just been an anchor dealing with it. And at least we're that much farther south and closer to our destination. So coming in, it was like not rough, but like rough enough to the point where like, how calm is this anchorage really gonna be? Cause we got pretty close to it and it was still kind of rough. And then as soon as you tuck in behind this little point, it's, it's, not, bad. it's not bad. I think when the rocker, rocker stopper yeah. gets put in, it'll be. Uh, I'm gonna put the rocker stopper up and then I'll do the Starlink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is that your favorite spot? Oh my God, you like you made it your bed. Oh, what a fucking idiot. What an idiot. Oh. Good morning from Bahia Asuncion. We're gonna be here for today and likely tomorrow. Um, waiting for some weird weather to pass. So the weather doesn't look bad today, but if you look out that way, it's still pretty dark. So uh, yeah, we're, I don't think we're gonna leave today, obviously. Um, but last night was okay. The anchors is a little rolly, but I think that's just because of the weather that was, that's been having here. Um, but I will say, especially if you're coming from like the Washington, Canada area, one thing you need to invest in is a stabilizing system. Now, being in Washington, or grew up in Washington and San Juans, when you go to an anchorage, nine times out of 10, it's a calm anchorage. Like little waves, maybe the boat rocks a little bit, but nothing crazy. Um, not nearly as rolly as you get as when you do these kind of uh, 
I'm gonna call them open ocean anchorages. Like you're protected from the swells, but the swells do wrap around. See, it does get a little rolly in here a little bit, um, but not terrible, but rollier than what's comfortable a lot of times. And we first ran into that in uh, Coho Anchorage because um, we stopped there and it was, we none of us could barely sleep because it was so rolly. And same thing in Santa Barbara, where it was like open ocean anchorage. You're kind of open to the swells. Uh, so when we got to when we got to uh, Los Angeles, we ended up finding a magma stabilizing system uh, on Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks. It wasn't that expensive. <clears throat> Brand new. I don't know what they are, but anyway, um, I highly suggest investing in one if you're planning on doing a trip down the coast if you're from Washington and Canada and used to those type of calm anchorages. Um, there's lots of different types. I can't really suggest which one works great. This one works good. I've also seen people make their own by like cutting a large like triangle piece out of like even even plywood or plastic and putting weights on two ends so that it sinks. If you Google how to make a stabilizer, it's right there. But I highly suggest uh, highly suggest making or getting one before you leave. Uh, just in preparation for those open ocean anchorages, and it uh, it helps quite a bit. We are exploring on land today in Bahia Asuncion, and we just got gas. We actually got a ride from a local, which was very nice. Yeah, didn't even ask. He was like, "Hey, do you want to ride? You want to ride to gas? Okay." So here we are, now we're walking back. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> 